This episode brought to you by MeepleRealty.com, your source for high-quality custom board game inserts. Meeple Realty, think inside the box. Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online Board Offline. Today we've got the second part of our Thunderstone Advance playthrough. Hopefully today we can continue to stay ahead of the curve. I feel like we've kind of been right even with what the game's doing, uh, maybe just ahead of it. But as I, as I know from previous plays, in the solo version of Thunderstone Advance, if you really don't keep ahead, it, the game will start to snowball on top of you real fast. So, without anything else, let's get back down to the board and see what's going to happen next. Oh, and by the way, as with all my playthroughs, it's entirely possible I'm going to make some rules errors. By all means, point them out in the comments section below, and uh, I will address that when the time comes. And hopefully, if, it, if you point out before my next video comes out, I'll be able to make some corrections. Anyway, uh, here we go. Let's get back down to the game. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we got now. We've got three regulars, uh, the healer, four regulars, the healer and a torch. Um, so that puts us at one, two, three, four, five, physical attack. Um, and one light, which comes close to this guy, but not quite enough. Meanwhile, if we go to the village, we only have two gold. This is <clears throat> not a good, not a particularly good situation. Um, oh, but, oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. You know what? So we've got one, two, three, four, five physical attack, one light. And if we use this, that'll be two light. Uh, and for the Chirag, we need five light and two, or sorry, five attack and two light because it's in that spot there. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we'll send, we'll go to the dungeon and use that experience right there to add to our, our light. And that is just enough to take out the Chirag. I assume that's how we pronounce it. Gives us one experience point. Let's see what we get. Another yellow experience point. All right. And then let's move this down. So that is a, another Murden that came out here. Three health and suffer light minus one when we fight him. So let's see what we've got here. We've got two long spears, two regulars, and two thunderstone shards. So that's four physical attack. And we'll get to draw two cards if we were to go into the dungeon. Uh, to fight the Seth, Sethosh, we'd need four attack, and then there's minus two here. Hmm. Or we could go to the village. We've got six gold. I think. I think maybe the village is the right call here. So let's go to the village with the six gold. <clears throat> get that out of the way there. Okay. And what can we get? Another divine healer. We could get the stealthy. The flaming sword's always good, but we don't have anybody really that can wield it yet. We haven't been able to get a strong. That would be good if we could get one of those. Uh, the shield bearer, maybe. You know what? Let's go with the. We'll go with the stealthy, and see how that works out for us. So these move down. All right, so the dungeon is full now, and we've got a bandit taskmaster who has seven health. And global, you must use all dungeon abilities if possible. And then as a battle effect, place one weapon and one item on top of your deck. Okay, I wasn't. I was a little confused as to what that meant right there. The uh, battle effect. I checked in the rule book, and they do clarify that if I have that, a weapon and item in my hand, that's where those come from. So, uh, place one weapon and one item on top of my deck from my hand, which will make it more difficult to deal with that guy. Obviously. All right. Well, let's move on. See what we've got in our next hand. Got to shuffle the deck again. All right. So we've got. Two monsters. Now they do have. They both have. They both have trophy effects. So let's see. Uh, add magic attack plus one to each wizard. Well, I don't have any wizards in my hand, so that doesn't do anything. If there is darkness in this rank, add physical attack plus two to each thief. Well, again, I don't have any thieves in my hand either. So those aren't going to do anything. So regular. We've got two regulars, a torch, and the village jack. All right. Looks like I think we got to go. We're going to have to go to the village because. 
Yeah, and so unfortunately that does mean that our first monster is going to escape, it looks like. But hopefully we can recover quickly from that. And um, now I think we go to the village, and then we're going to use... So we've got, we've got six, two, four, six gold there, and we'll use the village jack's ability to destroy um, this regular to get... And I'll gain the two gold... That'll put me at eight gold so I can get a strong and put the strong in. Because I think I think we definitely need to get some kind of a fighter in there. And uh, let's see, physical attack plus three. You can't level up a regular into this card, which I didn't do. I, I destroy the regular to get two gold. And then spoils, discard four XP to level up this hero. Okay, so that's how he levels up. He levels up after winning a battle. And then the Sathosh does escape right there. That is unfortunate, but it's going to happen. All right, now we've got the Bandit Killer uh, battle. Place one item on top of your deck. Okay, so that's what these guys do. Is it looks like they do a lot of taking stuff out of your hand to make your hand less effective. So what do we have here? We've got three regulars and a long spear and two Thunderstone shards. All right, so that's f basically four physical attack. Um, now, and I, I can draw one card. Got the Murden here. Three, and then two darkness. Oh, you know what though? Let's say uh, if I if I managed. To, oh no, I do have to suffer light minus one. Okay. Well, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that chance. Here we go. We're going to go to the dungeon. So right there, that's four regular attack. This long spear is attached to that regular, which allows me to draw a card. And it is the stealthy. Okay, so she gives physical attack plus one. Um, that means one, two, three, four, five, which is enough to take out this Merton. Uh, yep, and that's going to be one experience point for the Merton. But then also I have both these Thunderstone Shards which each in the spoils gain one XP. So since I won the battle, I get one XP for each of them. So that's gonna be three XP total. So let's see what we get. Three regular experience points and the gray can be used to destroy one card. All right, and then we're gonna move these down. And what do we have here? A bandit warrior, global ability. You must use all dungeon abilities if possible. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four uh, physical attack. One of them is a long spear and we have one light. And remember, he, he helps thieves, but we don't have any thieves in our hand right now. All right, so four physical attack and a light, but I don't think that's gonna help us at all here. There's nobody that we're even close to, so I think we have to go to the village again. So we're going to go to the village, and we've got the uh, six, the six gold there. And we're going to, I think, between the thunderstone shards and the strong that's in our deck now. Let's go ahead and get a flaming sword, that, so we can have that kind of rotating through the deck. Hopefully, we can link it up with somebody that can use it, and then let's upgrade. Our divine healer. I think I'll keep the yellow one because we're gonna need. Do we need two? We need two, not three. Okay, we need two. So that's why I'll keep one of those and one gray and one yellow there. So the divine healer is gonna upgrade, and he becomes a divine chaplain. He's now physical attack plus two. Add physical attack plus one for each disease and monster present. And in the village or dungeon, draw one card. All right, now unfortunately that does mean that the Kulova has escaped. And we've got another Sathosh that has moved into rank four. Okay, okay, now we got the Murden, which uh, if there is darkness in this rank, add physical attack plus two to each thief. We do have a thief, so that's, this could be helpful here. Let's see what exactly. 
else we've got going here? Um, all right, so one, two, two physical attack and one light. But it could be up to uh, four physical attack and one light. Still not going to be enough to get anybody, I don't think. Let's see. No. Mm. Maybe the best thing to do is go and upgrade Stealthy. Upgrade her into level two as well. Hmm. I think so. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Okay. So go to the village. We've got uh, two, three, five gold. I do have the village jack. I'm going to sacrifice this regular with the village jack for two more gold. It gets me seven. And I'll get a, the uh, paired swords with that. And then let's upgrade stealthy. Now she's at Stealthy Jack is her level two. Physical attack plus two in the village by one additional card this turn and spoils by one non-hero card. And the bandit Taskmaster has escaped and attacked the village. That's not good. What do we got here? The Marger. Aftermath, game one disease. Trophy, add physical attack plus one to each cleric okay so here we go we've got the strong which is physical attack plus three okay uh, got a thunderstone charles move out of the back um add magic attack plus one to each wizard well we don't have any wizards uh so don't have to worry about that um and then we've got the two regulars the strong pull arm obviously going to go on the regular so that one two three six physical attack which is enough by itself to take out the bandit killer and we could draw a card uh, with the long spear, see if we take anything else out. All right, so let's go ahead and place that down right there. So there, we've got six physical attack right there. You know what, I don't think, I think I won't draw anything because I'll, um, I'm just as good taking out the bandit killer as I am taking out the bandit warrior. So there's no reason to waste another card when I can go ahead and take the bandit killer out right now. They're both worth the same number of victory points and the same number of experience points. So now the bandit warrior, though, is worth more gold. Hmm. Nope, we'll do it. Let's just take out the bandit killer because we do that with what we've got. So there we go. Bandit killer is dead. I do have a thunderstone shard, so that makes him worth one additional gold or i'm sorry one additional experience point so that's gonna be two uh two plus one so three total and there we go two gray and a green and as a reminder the green is to add magic attack plus one and i think i need four yeah i need four xp to level up that hero so unfortunately he can't level up but his first time in a dungeon was successful so that's good at least Got a mounted raider. Uh, destroy one spell with an ability you have used. Uh, that's the battle effect. And also a battle effect. Destroy one weapon or item with an ability you have used. Whew. Okay. You know what? That is not good. Well, at least we certainly can't go to the dungeon with this. So, we, let's see. Let's move that back there. We've got two, four, five, six... Up to eight when we include the village, Jack. I think we go to the the uh, the village, go to the village, and we'll do um, use village Jack to sacrifice the regular for gold, which brings us up to eight, and grab another strong and throw him into our deck. And that means the bandit warrior escapes. And we get another Kulova trophy. Add physical attack plus one to each fighter. So what do we got now? We've got a long spear, two regulars, and a torch. Not much good. Man, okay. One, two, three, and a light. 
Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm tempted. And I, oh, and actually with this stuff over here, I can definitely, okay, I'm going, I am going to the dungeon. I am going to dungeon. Because uh, with the Sathosh, they only have four health. They're only in one darkness. So here we go. So that's one, two physical attack, one light. With the long spear, lets me draw a card. And it's another regular. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four physical attack plus a light. That lets me kill the Sathosh. And I get two uh, experience points for that. Uh, the Murden didn't do them any good, but they'll go in the discard pile. So two experience points for the Sathosh. And we've got a red and a gray. The red, again, is physical attack plus one. Okay, move these guys down. Got another Chirag, uh, immune to magic attack, and add magic attack plus one to each wizard. No wizards in the game, so that doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Divine Chaplain does have five strength, which means she's got he's got enough to wield the paired sword, so that's good. Uh, move the Chirag to the back because he can't do anything. Um, and of course, we have of course the paired sword and the flaming sword show up at the same time. All right. Um, Oh, you know what? Y'all, I apologize. I'm going to go ahead and do this because I completely forgot this is the whole point of the Paired Swords. When you buy this card, you may place another copy of it from the village into your discard pile. Let me go in and I'll put it in my discard pile now. So I'm getting a little bit, getting penalized a little bit for being careless, but at least I've got it now. Oh, you know what? Let me get rid of these. Man, y'all, sorry. What am I doing? What is going on here? Okay. So back to my hand. So we've got the physical attack plus two and physical attack for each monster present disease and monster so right now the cleric has has two uh plus one for the chirag plus four for the paired swords so that's two three seven um and then we've got the regular the flaming sword it's not going to do anything so let's go and move that to the back so that's going to be uh seven eight and light eight and a light definitely going to the dungeon so let's put that down real quick there we go. Eight and a light. And we could get we can get this guy. Yep. We could get this guy. He's worth four experience points. I think that's what we're gonna do. So battle destroy one spell with an ability you have used. Well, I don't have any spells, so that's good. And battle destroy one weapon or item with an ability you have used. Now I don't I'm not using an ability, right? So I think that my paired swords are safe. Anybody watching this, if if you if I'm reading this wrong, if I'm if I'm mistaken on how this works, let me know and I'll try to fix it in a future video. But I'm pretty sure my paired swords are safe because they don't really have an ability that I'm using, in, unless physical attack counts as an ability. But I don't believe it does. So I'm not going to destroy them right now. I have the feet of the mounted raider. He's going to go in my discard pile, and he's worth two experience points. There we go. All right, and I think this next next one will be the last hand for this video. Let's see what we got here, another Marger, okay. All right, so for the final hand, we have a very stacked hand. I'd say it's safe to say we're going to the dungeon. All right, so divine, we've got one monster, so Divine Chaplain's got plus two strength, a physical attack plus two, and then uh, plus one for the monster, so that's three, uh, six, eight, and we can give the pole arm to whoever we want, so that's nine, nine and a light, and if there's darkness, there'll be plus two strength to our stealthy jack, so nine and a light, potentially eleven and a light, who has the most... The Kulova and the Chirag both have the most experience points with three each. Oh, I'm sorry, the most victory points, but the Kulova has more experience points. So I think we're going to go after it. Um, seven strength. It's in two darkness, so we easily take it out. There we go. And he actually helps our fighters with his trophy ability. 
So the Kulova is easily taken down. I needed uh, seven and two darkness, and I had one, uh, two, three, four, seven, uh, eight, nine, and a light. So easily done. And get two experience points. There we go. Bandit Taskmaster, there we go, he's back out. The last one escaped, hopefully we can take him out. Now I will say that that hand was so stacked that I'm a little concerned with what's left in the deck, but we'll see how the rest of that deck goes as we work our way through it. Let's go back up top. Okay, so there you go. I feel like we're doing pretty well so far. Hopefully that last hand didn't deplete my deck of most of its power. So when we get back for part three, I, I really hope that I'll be able to continue knocking these monsters out at a pretty good rate. I feel like focusing on that strong is going to be a big part of this since he can upgrade in the dungeon as opposed to having to make a village trip. Because at this point, every time I make a village trip, a uh, monster is going to escape from the wilderness. So we'll see how that all works out. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And until next time, if you're bored online, Board offline.